Hey guys, I am Nishant and welcome to Cybernetico. So in this video, let's learn or let's look into some features that were released in this year, also known as ES 2022 features. So let's start now. The first feature on our list is top level await. So we can say top level await. So what happened previously is, let me write some code. So we need a function called do something like this inside we can console log uh, something save so what is async await you know a promise based call so we can say async and this will be now await so Previously, what happened is we can only use await keyword inside async function. So let me invoke the function here. I will get this something. This. But we cannot use this await outside this async function. We can only use it inside. That was the case before. But now we can use it outside the function as well. We don't need a function that is async. Also, when we are calling or when we are scripting the or like linking the script tag here, we need to make the type as module. Only then it will work. So if I remove this and bring it outside, cut and paste, let me comment this, save, it will not be valid. It will be only valid when the script type is module. Now you see it works. So before the this AS2022 features or this like build, it was not possible. We can only use await or we can have only used await inside async function, not like this. So this was an improvement in an async function in JavaScript. The next one is add keyword or let's say add method in JavaScript. So we can remove this or just copy this and paste it here and then comment it like this. Or what can we do is just comment. Okay, this will be the same thing. Save. Now next is add method. So what is this add method? Let me have an array of numbers and it contains one, two, three, four, five, six. Six numbers from one. Fine. Do something is not defined. Comment it. So we have six numbers from one to six, like this. What do we want to find the index of first element? So we can something we can do something like this. Console log numbers zero for zeroth number, or console dot log number for one or for two. We will get one and two. But now we have this array dot add method at. So let me explain what is this. So we can say console dot log array dot add, which is number so array dot add and let's add zero. Now, if we add zero, we will get the zero index here like this. So this thing and this thing is pretty same. Fine. But what did we do this? So this is zero. This is one, two, three, four and five. Then again, if we do here something like minus one, okay, this was zero. I told you, but if we do minus one here, this should, uh, this should uh, reverse back to this, this uh, item six. So we can say minus one. And if we save, this will throw an error or make it an undefined value. But same thing won't be the case for add. It will be six because it will go back to this array. So if we add zero and then minus one, it will throw this thing. If we make minus two, it will be five. So this was the function of array.add. The next one in our list is object dot has one. So let me show you how it works. So 
let's write it here object dot has own property i can comment all of these like this so let's have an object here which has a name nishant then some age like 5000 years we can console log this age or we can console dot log name or age wait object dot name sorry it will give me chance here or age for 5000 save age 5000 it will give this number 5000 but this is used to or let's say this thing uh, we can say is something for example let's say we want to check that if some property like is something is present inside the object or not so in this case we use something called object dot has own so this is how it works we will use object dot has own then we will pass the object which is this object so let's pass it in strings no not in string just like this obj or obj object like this then the key we want to check so if we pass age we will get true because age is here if we pass name we will get name here because it's there in the object let's say if we pass is something else we will get false because it's not inside this object so this was not possible before but now it's possible to check this so this is how it works object dot has own property this method uh, object dot has own this method is just like array dot includes method for arrays so for arrays we have array dot includes for objects we now have this method has own now the next one is class based changes for example let's create a class here called something inside we had a constructor and we can assign some values like name this dot name equals to nishant or this dot age equals to let's say 26 now let's create a new instance of the class which can say let new equals to new something like this okay this should be not new let's say new class new is the reserved keyword that's why so console dot log new class so we will get something class and the name and the age property so this was the case before before yes 2022 but now what can we do is we can move this to outside the constructor and it will still work so we can do something like this name equals to nishant and age equals to let's say 25 26 remove comma and this will still work like this so this was a new feature in es 2022 then let's have one more feature in this which is called private method so let's say we had something like this let's say we had third property called uh, let's add is something which is false so we can access it let me remove this too wait is something equals to this will be sorry okay so we can access this using new class dot is something it will be false so in this method we can make it private by using a hashtag before this is something now save and it will be undefined because now it's private in this class so this was also not this was also not possible before but now it's possible to create a private class item inside a class the next one is static class fields 
So let's say we want to create one static field in the class. So we can say something dot hello equals to hello. This is how we used to create a static field in a JavaScript class. But now we can do something like this or yes. So we can say hello or to make us to make it static. We can say static keyword hello equals to let's say hello. So this is how we create a static field in JavaScript. Now it is also valid for functions. So for example, let's have a function called do something. So we can make it static by using static keyword before this function like this static this and then it will do return and all inside which will be anything you want. So this was the class based changes in JavaScript. Now the next feature is regex magic indices. So for example, let's say we have a name string with all these names. And here Nishan is getting repeated two times this and this. So it's a string, not an array. Remember that. So this will be at the zeroth index and this will be at some index. I don't know. I don't have to count here. So let's find out the indexes of both of them. But first we need a pattern. So let's create it. Let regex or let's select pattern equals to let's pass two forward slashes and in between we want to search for the item. We will pass that which is Nishan. Then we will pass a flag called G to find all the name matching with this. Then let's search using this pattern. So we can say let uh, let's say matches equals to it will spread this string names and we will use a method called match all and then we will pass the pattern inside and that's all for now. Now let's console the console dot log this matches and see what we get. So we're getting two arrays here. In the first array, the index is zero and second array index is 37 because this one is zero or starting from zero and this one is 37. But it's not returning us the indices. So this one should be zero, start from zero and end at some point. So zero, one, two, three, wait, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. They should be seven. The indices, I mean. So to find the indices, the starting and ending, just add one more flag called D here after G. Now save and we will get the indices as well. So here we are writing 0 to 7. Starting from 0, ending at 7. 0, then 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Fine. This is done. Now in this second one, you will get 37 and 44 because starting from 37, and ending at 44. So this was an improvement on this matching indices regex. And now we can find the indices where it's starting and where it's ending. And these were all the features we have in ES 2022. So I hope you learned something today from my video. If yes, then all right. Good for me and good for you.